G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jitty, on our impressive, impressive bus that we have going on here. And today, we're going to look at our iron problem, because uh, there's no iron. Uh, it's mostly because our unique bus setup, it's also because, let's face it, um... We've only got two lanes of iron coming in. Uh, there are two red belts worth of iron, but it's not nearly enough. Not even close. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go tap this patch up here, which does mean that I need to grab some materials. Uh, obviously, the materials I need require iron, so we're going to hope to find some iron somewhere on this bus. Uh, on the off chance, steel smelters. Yes, I love it when we can find a heap of iron in the steel smelters. This is what I like to see. Uh, nope, our luck has run out on that side. And uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, we'll go this way. All right, our luck's run out. All right, so we're going to need one mining depot. Uh, I'm going to need a bunch of drones, but I'm hoping that if we collect a crap ton of gears... We can... Okay. Hang on. We'll max craft that. Okay, so not quite enough gears. Uh, there we go. And iron sticks. Iron sticks is the other item to make miners. Which is... Um, 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 here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. It's here. And there is absolutely none of them. Uh, that's right. Eventually it goes on the bus. Oh, this is one that goes... Oh, this direction. Well, wow, there's lots of it on the bus. Uh, yes, lots of it on the bus. Okay. So we should be able to... No, not quite. Should be able to craft a bunch of... Uh, iron, uh, a bunch of miners. We're going to need... Roughly about a hundred, I'm hoping. No, not quite. Uh, we are researching the next two mining boosts for our miners. So one is going to be more mining speed. The other one's going to be more mining productivity. I'm hoping between the two of them, we can actually get to a situation where... We're out of gears now. I find it interesting that we pick up more things when we're going one direction than the other. Uh, I just picked up some of those, which I don't want, and some of those, which I don't want. Gear belts. This is the next belt I want to climb onto. Uh, and we're out of iron plate. Okay, alright. So, with that done, we want to set up a smelter. So, it's, it's fairly easy to set up a brand new smelter. Um, we're going to head all the way out to yonder. Uh, now, wherever we put this, it's going to get in the way of the bus eventually. So we should probably pre-plan that part out at least, uh, that blueprint. So if I have belts running like so, okay, and we're going to want to put this Mining depot. Oh my god, it's going to ruin many belts. Alright, we need to put this where it can hit everything possible. We're going to have to put it all the way out here. And even then, it doesn't quite cover the whole patch. Uh, there. Put it at the top. It covers almost the whole patch. Alright, we're going to go far right hand side. I'm going to hope that this doesn't come back and haunt me. Uh, let's go down two tiles. That should cover everything. I'm going to set you to iron. I'm going to give you 70 drones. I do not have 30 on the craft, but it's close. Uh, okay, so with that done, we're going to pre-plan out. Where's that blueprint? The bus blueprint. That's the blueprint I want. We're going to pre-plan this out, and I'm going to put this here. So I sort of know what I have to dodge. Uh, put that there, that there, and worst case scenario, that there. Okay. So, 
those lines obviously couldn't exist because they go right the way through it. Uh, we want to put in two loaders. Yep. Uh, I'm going to do this in yellow belt because I only brought yellow belt with me and even then I didn't bring nearly enough. Uh, we're going to have you go that way, you go that way. You go whoop, that way. Uh, no, you do go to there. Okay. So hopefully that's now something I can blueprint. Uh, no, I do want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. And I don't want that. And then hopefully we can work our way across the bus, down the bus, bit by bit by bit. Because obviously I want to smelt this. And I'd probably prefer to smelt this on the south side of the bus with everything else. Uh, rather than try to do it on the north side of the bus. So we're going to build our way slowly down to, well, wherever the hell this starts. Uh, there to there to there. And no, we, we should be fine. Okay, hang on. Please stop moving me belts. Uh, there we go. That lined up. Uh, there, to there, to there, to there, to at least that pops it out. Okay, alright, uh, I want a decon planner, trees and rocks please, remove all of that, at least then I can somewhat see what we're doing, and then of course we're going to need game blueprints, I want a smelter reversed. Yes, we're going to want two smelters reversed. Um, I technically want the materials all the way down here. Well, actually I want the iron plate well, 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 well back on the bus, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, Our other option, now we've gone through and placed all this, our other option is we put the smelters here and then we bring the plate in. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Damn! Alright. We just keep control z our way back. Uh... I do love that Factorio keeps a lot of undo commands, like a lot. Alright, can I dump those in there? We have 83 minus, it's not quite full, but it's pretty close. Uh, two belts? Two belts. Rotate that around twice, plug that in there, there. Uh, there, I guess. Uh, okay, so that's going to make a very confused uh, bus arrangement if we ever come anywhere near this point ever again. Uh, we're going to keep bringing this down. And then I have a normal smelter. So this is resources go in at one end and then they come out at the other end, which is really what I'm looking for. And I want to roughly work out where we want to bring that back into the bus. Because that's what I'm... It's basically what I need to do. I need to do everything backward. I need to work out where we need the resources in to then work out where to put the damn smelter. Um, Alright, so working our way down. We have... Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So we have gears and green circuits. Pretty much all the iron's gone. We then have... Green science. And military. So basically, I'd really love to bring in the resources right here. This would be ideal. Uh, can I... I'm going to have two belts I need to bring in. Which makes life even more interesting. Okay, if I put... <clears throat> I 
I need to inject. All right, if I put you here. Nope, that's not gonna work. You there. All right, we want to output property left. Input left. Yes. Okay, so the idea is we we have to put this here, otherwise it sideloads it. We don't want to sideload. Okay, we want to keep things the way they are. But the idea is this port is where we're going to bring, bring materials in. So I'm going to come down to here. We're then going to have to go left, up, left, 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 up. Yep. And that's an import. Okay, so from our import, we then need to work our way back. To then work out where the smelter is going to go. Uh, you go there, you go there, you go there. So let's copy you. And actually, I prefer to go up the bus if that's at all possible, please, game. Uh, so there, there, and uh, nope. Uh, nope. One of those there. Okay. So with that set up, we can then work our way up the bus. Bit by bit by bit. Uh, why? Oh, because the belt beside grenades doesn't get picked up for ages. Okay. You could step out an extra tile. I don't know where things are going here. Uh, there and there. Actually, I do know. I've played... I've played with this bus long enough. I can see where things are meant to go. It's starting to become easy like a normal bus. Just a very large, very wasteful normal bus. Okay, then we need a smelter. Uh, smelter, we're gonna dump. Uh, sure. I don't actually know. Uh, can I get... Squiggles. Uh, we're going to go with a squiggle down. And then we can have a smelter. Which we will plaster there. And in theory, this squiggle matches that squiggle. It does. Okay, so that's smelter. That's a, a easy part, I hope. Uh, to that, we need to... Grab that and bring that down a whole lot. Because this is only one line. And I have two lines I need to get in. Uh, Alright. Uh, there. There. Okay, plus I need to get in coal. Yes! Alright. So, that's one lane. Just just one lane for the moment. Alright. Then if we come back to this mess... So you actually get injected in down here. I'd like to inject the other one here. So I want you to input priority left, output priority right. Yes. Uh... No, if I go there to there, we should be able to squiggle this up good and proper. Uh, so good and proper, in fact, that we can't actually get through the bus anything close to cleanly. Uh, there to there to there. That one, that one. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, three tiles, which is technically that tile. You're going to be a little bit short. That's fine. Uh, there, to there, to there. To that one, that one, that one. And then you would pop out here. Okay, so then, smelters. Can I put another smelter array? Probably. 
Right, so let's pop you out. Uh, and then we'll grab a bit of this. We'll just throw that on there. And then smelter... Uh, you can't be that close because you're side load, so you go there. And we just plug this in like so. And that's our two smelters. Okay, so for our two smelters, both are going to require us to bring in... Uh, thanks. Both are going to require ore. So we're going to tag in ore there and ore there. Uh, actually, you'll probably have to go up a tile because I still need to get coal, which luckily we have on the bus. All right, so now after we've done that, we need the squiggle. Uh, more squiggle, more squiggle, more squiggles. And there, 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 there. Okay. So, uh, I have a new tool, and I don't know if this will work. Uh, it is Control-Alt-D. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, fine. Fine. It's a new mod, and it should let me chain deconstruct and chain upgrade. But it looks like it doesn't work on ghosts. It's brand new. It's unproven. It's uh, uh, caused by somebody doing a silly playthrough. Okay, rip up all that. Rip up that. Uh, in fact, I should just rip up all of that because it's actually quicker for me to replace it than it is to carefully deconstruct it. Uh, we want that in there. And done. Okay, so that's our two belts plugged in. That's our smelter plugged in. Our smelter's going to require power. Uh, you know what? If I just do a swipe, it's 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 an overzealous swipe. No, let's not do that. Uh, let's just give me a new upgrade planner. I just want to do the power poles. Uh, power, oh, power to power. Oh, and the smelters. Uh, smelter to smelter. Okay, so that does that trick. Uh, we can delete that. Uh, I'm going to have to craft up those. Okay, so that does that. Alright, with that done, uh, I need an actual power connection. You are a single lone power pole without a power connection. So if I can get you to go to there. It's like a power pole every single lane of the bus. Really? What am I short of? Steel. Uh, right here, but there's not a lot of steel on the steel belt. Come on. Alright, I need one of those there, one of those there. You keep taking away my power poles. Here I am trying to get you guys power. You keep taking away the one thing that I need. All right, on top of that, uh, there's one other very important thing that I need to add to this concoction. It's not that, not that, not that. It is gonna be RoboPorts. This one, this one. Oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of iron and my iron sticks. Okay. Just give me this belt. That'll do me. Out of steel again. Of course I am. Okay. I want you there. Alright, so that's that done. Alright, next thing I desperately want. This is going to be the important one. Because I want robot coverage. Which means some... Oh my god, no, you won't fit. Of course you won't fit. Somehow I need to work out how we can make enough room in the bus for roboports. 
which is its own separate nightmare. And this is actually lucky because I'm missing a belt, so I have a little bit of extra wiggle room, but it's only a little bit. All right, so to put a RoboPort there, first off, we're gonna need power. Uh, can we stop moving up the belt, please? There we go, okay, you can go there. You can go there. And then there. And then there. I turned you guys off. That's right. Okay. So we would need a RoboPort, which would go right here. So that's a RoboPort. That's the easy part. Then we'd have to underground the RoboPort and then... Well, technically I don't have anything underground, so that's not valid. Uh, we would have to do this. Yes. Just because we wanted to go have a robot port. Yeah, yeah. But with a robot port, we should be able to get a second robot port, providing. Hey, robots. Hello. They're bringing over belt, which is nice of them, but I really want a robot. Let's turn off robot coverage. Uh, Roboports? Roboports. Roboports. Six of the network. Ha ha! Here he is. Yes, he's got a little green box around him. He's going to wander over here very slowly. And then hopefully I get another Roboport about here. Here is okay. It's not too bad. Uh, oh, perfect. All right, so if I get a rover port uh, here, and then a real power pole. I don't have any real power poles. Shitty power pole. Okay, do my shitty power poles have power? No. Uh, these guys don't have power either. Really? Oh. Good job. Okay. All right, do you now have power? Power, you do. Alright, which also means I definitely want radars. I'm going to throw a radar up somewhere here. Uh, not there. There. Okay, so we have radars. We have belts placed. We have things that have to be done. Okay, so that's that half done. Next half is coal. So coal should be whack a splitter in. Uh, should be a upsy downsy upsy downsy. You're gonna have to go back a tile. Yeah. Uh, one of them into uh, one of these. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, Roboport has coverage. Yes. Companion Roboport. Here. Uh, alright. So that's where we need to get coal to, which comes from here. Alright. So it's one of those, let's get it across the bus as cleanly and as efficiently as this stupid playthrough will allow us. Alright. Uh, that goes there. Yeah, that's valid. Okay. Uh, yep. Up, left. And we just keep applying up and left over and over and over. And eventually, we'll get to the right spot. Uh... Top the sulfur. All right. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying uh, up and left. Yes, up and left. Up and left. Up and left. Up and uh, oh my god, they both they both run into stuff. Um. Okay, up and left. We're gonna go up and left here. Uh, and then we're gonna go. Yes, uh, up and low, oh my god, we finally got to the right spot and there is no way, uh, actually no, 
No, I can possibly there. I should. Yes, that's way easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, so that should get our materials out. Uh, obviously, there are giant gaps in our limited RoboPort coverage. Can I get another RoboPort? Oh, that's still a ghost RoboPort. Well, bots, what you doing? How many do we have in the network? Ah, uh, we got 170. That's not bad, actually. Okay. Uh, do we have steel furnaces in the network? No. Okay, do I have... I do have chests on me. Great. So, obviously, steel furnaces need to go in the network. Uh, um, cap to one slot. Okay, so that solves that problem. Uh, what else? Uh, a belt. I just need a crap ton of belt personally so I can have my bots fill in all the gaps. Belt, 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 more belt. Belt. Okay. So my robots are stupid and they will only fill in spots where the normal bots can't reach. So if I just wander in the general direction. Uh, okay, I take that back. They're twice as stupid. They'll also do things that the normal bots can reach. But aren't allocated to do. There you go. That's the proviso. Alright. Uh, can I... I'm going to need some power poles. I'm going to need some significant power poles. Uh, steel. Let's just break that belt. Uh, break that belt. Okay. Oh, no. No substation. I want large power poles, please. Uh, coal. Okay, coal's done. Coal does flow. Yep, slowly. Uh, hopefully that's enough power poles. Let's put that belt back before I forget about it. So, that should get coal up to here. Uh, this rubber port hasn't arrived. Let's go manually pick up some rubber ports. That's a good idea. Uh, copper cable. Can I put copper cable directly into something that eats copper cable? No, because I don't see anything that eats copper cable. All right, we want what I'm looking for. Robots. Back this way. All right, let's grab all four giant robots that we own and. If we can get the rover ports in, I'll be very happy. Alright, so rover port number one. Uh, with large power pole here. And next rover port is there. So then I want a large power pole basically as close to this as I can get it. With a crappy power pole. And then next row port would be here. Uh, let's try and keep things as close to the belts as possible. So let's put that there. Uh, which is perfect. Okay, and then the next row port would be all the way up here. Uh, and again, Large power pole there and there with a crappy one there. And row port goes down. Excellent. Next row port is all the way up here. And I could probably copy that. I would imagine. Yes. Which possibly. Oh crap, I'm out of power poles. Uh, iron sticks. Alright. We'll paste that. We'll then paste that. Oh, and again. A lot further than I thought. 
a lot further than I thought. Everything's further than you thought when you start doing everything on diagonals. Okay, so it gets enough range we can reach all the way up there. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to have 100% coverage. Now suddenly the power poles exist. Whatever. Whatever, robots. Uh, okay, I need iron sticks, which I probably ran past. But we will grab some steel whilst we're here. Uh, or we won't. The belt just ran dry. Okay. And with this direction, iron sticks. Thank you. Uh, Rover ports on the off chance. The si slim zero chance. Uh, the, the zero chance. Yeah, there is steel. Okay. Uh, I can craft too. Do we have, you do not have power. Well, if you don't have power, that means you suck and you are lying to me. Cool. Uh, all right, one rover port, which will turn those guys off, which means I can manually place that. And one more rover port, which has power which means I can place that guy as well. Okay, so that means everything is powered, not radar. Can I get a radar? No, of course not. Uh, can I get a radar, please, by getting some green circuits and some iron? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, wow, we left the belts way back here. Uh, can I get a bus blueprint and just line that up roughly like so? circuits are here somewhere left all the way back here okay just gonna grab those and we'll actually make a couple of radars and then if we get all the way up here sure Alright, so we've got a little bit more viewing range. We'll also throw our radar further down. Uh, just so I can see the whole bus. Excellent. Okay, so that's that done. That's that done. We obviously have very, very, very busy robots that are building out the smelter. Uh, they also have to put in a crap ton of yellow belt. Uh, this end looks to be done. Our... The inserters are still ghosts. Oh, do we not have inserters in the network either? Uh, that would be a no. I put all the good inserters in the network, but not the shitty ones. Okay, if we put that there, that'll put inserters in the network. We should be set. Whoop, I want that. I don't want that. Alright, so it should put inserters in the network, which means we should be able to get this built. The smelters will go into the network slowly over time. That's fine. We're not in a particular rush. The bots are going to get the last of the belt placed, and then the iron should inject. Should. Should. I hope. Uh, okay, do we... Let's just take a shipment of belts with us. So we can always... Yeah, we do have a poor man's request to chest. So I can trash them should I need to. Should the bots happen to beat me to it. I doubt they will, but, you know, you, you never know. Uh, at the same time, can I... Do we have wood on the... Mm, I don't think we do. I don't think we have wood on the bus yet. Okay. Uh, turn you guys off. Go nuts. Build it all. Alright. Uh, L for logistics. 1.7k wood in the network. So no, we definitely do not have wood on the bus. 
Uh, that means... Uh, bus blueprint. That is definitely going to run to both smelters. Alright, let's undo that. Oh, actually, mate, no, that's probably high enough it won't run to both smelters. Okay, let's uh, put that back. Okay, then uh, let's grab that as a longer section. Uh, bring those up bit by bit by bit. Of course. All right. Uh, my bots have filled in some of the gaps. One hell of a hike. Alright, when we get down to here, there's a road port in the way. <sighs> okay, you would go. You go through there. Alright, so road port, problem number one. Um. Move a power pole. Okay, so let's bring you to there. Then we'd underground to there. And then, because I managed to pick the exact tar where everything would screw up, we'll bring you up like so. And done. Alright. You, I'm going to double underground because I can, uh, no, up the top. Uh, alright, so that feeds both those through there. Then this section, uh, actually this section should have uh, there to there uh, let's go there that makes me feel a little bit better about myself if we just add an unnecessary zigzag. Okay, uh, where were we? We were putting in belts. So I want to bring that down, plus that down, and there. Keep it coming. All this because I realized wood wasn't on the damn bus. Uh, actually, do I need? No. You know what? Actually, let's let's undo a lot of stuff again. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Eventually. I have no idea how many undo tasks the game saves, but it turns out it's a few. Okay, alright. So then... I pop that there. Once I've popped that there, now we're, now we're fine. Alright. I go and find some steel. <sighs> steel, 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 steel. One. All right, with my steel chests, we put uh, no, you 
you're there. You can go straight into a splitter. Uh, um, yes. Okay, and fast and set because that happens to be what I have on me. And you're set to wood. And powerful. Do you work from that angle? You do. Okay, so that's wood. Uh, all wood go into wood chest. Excellent. Uh... Eh? No. That won't work. Uh... I need you to step out to the left the top. Uh... Does that work? You're going to be on the right hand side and the right hand side. No. Um. Um, 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 um. Does that work? Uh, that'll work. Okay. And then you go there and you go there. I'm going to set you to be. Fish! Okay. So that's the critically important fish and wood belt, uh, which means if I can find where the storage chest is, it's up there with only 20 wood in it. Where the hell's the rest of the wood? Uh, as far as I know, that is the only storage chest. Unless I put another one somewhere. Okay, that's wood, it can go away. That's wood and fish, that can go away. Uh, that is all buildable by the robots. Uh, has a, oh, one lane of iron has shown up, and the other lane has shown up, so they're getting here. Uh, where the hell's the other box of storage? That says two point. Oh, when I was looking at that, it was showing also my trash slots. Oh. Now let's empty those and put them directly in there. That'll save us a lot of agony. Uh, okay, so we have 300 construction bots in the network and soaring. All right, so the smelters are mostly built. Uh, there's a bunch of power poles that would really like to be upgraded. Uh, but they require me to actually go and find steel again. Uh, that's a belt that pulls off steel. Which hopefully has a lot of steel on it. Uh, let's stand here. Copper plate. Well, we can probably find copper fairly easily. Very easily, it turns out. All right, uh, back to you. Oh, iron sticks. Uh, I am a little bit more difficult to come by, but if I stand here, in theory, we can absorb all of it. Okay. So I have power poles. We take the power poles over to the smelters. I want to see the smelters run. It's not just good enough that they exist. I actually want to see them turn on. Uh, yeah, maybe don't craft 30 of them at once. Sure, I meant to open that, not, you know, place the power pole that I had in my hand on the ground to help you bots out. You... Oh, you still got a ghost inserter. Well, that'll do it every time. Uh, so there's a couple of ghost inserters, actually. Eight ghost inserters and eight power poles. Well, the power poles I'm crafting right now. Five ghost inserters. One ghost inserter. Uh, 
Actually, I was looking at the power poles. Five gifts and seconds. Okay. So, one power pole. We're all done. All right. Now, I didn't get to show this earlier. So, we're going to show it now. If I hit control, shoot, no, control, oh, you, I get an upgrade planner. And if I click that, that's going to chain upgrade all my belts. Which, I got to say, for this particular playthrough, is awesome. Alright, now it goes forward and backward from a spot. So because this is being side-loaded, it's going to go back to there. If I click this... Okay, so it doesn't propagate through undergrounds. Good. Oh, it doesn't do undergrounds at all. Oh. Or splitters, it looks like. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's a start. Now, I do need to thank uh, Donlack, Donlack, for making this lovely, lovely, lovely mod. I can draw alt because, oh, I can't put the toolbar. That's unfortunate. Uh, because, oh my god, the time saving. The fact that I can just chain upgrade a whole thing. Like, I, I, I'm going to have to come back through and do the undergrounds. And also do splitters. But I can just do that and have this whole smelter being set to be upgraded. Uh, two belts have been set to blue belts. No idea where those two belts are. Uh, but obviously at some stage something was set to blue belts. So this should upgrade everything or mark for upgrade everything back to the actual uh, mining depot. Uh, it does. It does. Excellent. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go find enough materials to make 16. 16 more mining drones, because that's how many we need uh, to fill up uh, that particular mining depot. Uh, and we're going to need it. I can tell you for a fact we're going to need it uh, because I'm hoping it can feed two red belts, knowing full well that its friend uh, that we've had built for a long time can't. So obviously it can't either, but I can hope. I can hope and I can pray. All right, uh, we're going to come all the way back to here and collect all the iron that I'm running right beside and not picking up. Okay, that one, that one, that one, and where is our sticks? That steel sticks are with train tracks. Yeah. Alright. Uh, but with that done and that done, uh, we should. I would say 5, 10, 15, 1, 16 of them. Okay, with that done and that done, we should be able to dump these into here and have another two belts worth of iron. Two belts worth of injected iron have made it. Where do they inject? In here. Yeah, I, I'd say they've definitely made it into the bus. Um, sure, they're only running at half speed at the moment because they're yellow belts, but. We've marked everything for upgrading. We just need the bots to actually get it done. When the bots get through... 107 yellow belts. And two blue belts. We should be good. We should be good. Anyway, this is where I'm going to call it for this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next wonderful episode of Factorio. On our best bus. Because this is the best bus. This is the best bus. The neatest bus I've ever built. And now has wood on the bus. And fish are not far behind. Not far behind at all. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. For watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Alright, that's it. We're out. Bye.